I was born in 1912. I was the third child of nine. I was born into a German family in Selby, South Dakota, right on the Missouri River. I was the oldest son. Since I had to help my folks on the farm, I never made it past the eighth grade. For the first 20 years of my life, my parents homesteaded in the Dakotas. When I was 22 years old and had about $5 to my name, I hopped on a freight train in Minot, North Dakota. I rode that train from Minot to Ellensburg, Washington, about 1,500 miles away. When the Columbia Basin Project in Washington State opened up in the 1950s, I moved up to the Royal Slope and homesteaded there for the next eight years. I owned 160 acres of land and I was a farmer. When I was 46 years old, I married a woman from Walla Walla, Washington, and we lived on my farm. We had our first child nine months later, and my wife urged me to move back to Walla Walla. Two years after the move, we were blessed to have three kids. At the age of 60, I was stung around 300 times by hornets, and I was placed in the hospital for two weeks. The day I was released from the hospital, I went back to my homestead and went out to work in the fields. Two years later, I broke my right arm in about 12 places on a drill press in my shop. My wife rushed me to the hospital where I stayed for two weeks. I was released from the hospital and was out working in the fields the next day. When I was 65 years old, I was driving a brand new 453 combine up a hill when suddenly the machine started going backwards. I stood up, grabbed the wheel, and the combine flipped over. I was stuck in the cab with the throttle lever through my leg. After three hours, the EMTs decided to have me hacksaw my way out of the cab. I was in the hospital for another two weeks. Three days after getting out of the hospital, I was back in the farm doing fall planting. At age 72, I retired from farming. That farmer was my father. Farming is in my blood. My name is Paul Niefer, and I work with agribusiness and co-ops at Clifton Larson Allen.